up, hey, what's up, team? U hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Team Iron Man here. Another deck profile of Spike Brothers. This is my man Mike. Uh, so, so he's one of our best players. Obviously, he tops a bunch of locals with us. And he's gonna explain his deck or deck profile and explain how it works after after show all the cards. You, Mike. Uh, starting Vanguard is Mecha Trainer. He's the only one I would only use for Spike Brothers. It's a free search. It's the Conroy. A free search. I usually go for my Wonder Boys. For my triggers, I run. Eight crits. This deck's really aggro, so I want to try to quick as possible. Four draws. This deck usually wastes a lot of hand. And four heals. They're mandatory. For the grade ones, I won one. Dudley Daisy. A 7k booster. But with um, the Monic Lord. The a 12k booster can help me push even harder for final turn. I run two commanders, but sometimes I usually get a dead hand. And juggernauts and other demonic lords are just dead cards. Two reckless expresses. These cards I usually just search out for with my mecha trainer. These cards are like the Brocking Juggernauts of the deck for grade <laughs> 1s. Usually, with final turn, if I still have him, and I have a spare, and I have a spare on rear guard space, I would just use the effect, push it away, and use the monocle's effect. Four perfect guards, since this deck doesn't have that many defense. I need to use these. So this deck does need perfect guards, correct? Of course. Okay. The other three demonic ones are useless. <laughs> that is very true. So, uh, and my favorite card, Wonder Boy. Oh man. Him behind demonic ones are 21, so any Vanguard is going to have to drop two triggers. Until the end comes out. <laughs> that doesn't scare me. This should scare you. The reason why they call it the M. Not scare me. For grade twos, four Brockies. It's the mini juggernaut of the deck. In case I have too many cards in my hand, mostly grade three juggernauts, I would just pop these, save my turn, and try to protect myself, and then get my juggernauts and call final turn. I would final turn with these in case my juggernauts are gone anyway. Four Panthers. More Vanillas. Vanillas are amazing. 10k booster, 10k attackers. That's all I gotta say, mandatory. Three Interceptors. I'm thinking about changing it though to two maybe. But, you know. I lose a lot of hand control using the Monic Lore, so calling these out once in a while could save you. Save me in the last tournament. And one Devil Summoner. This card's okay when it works. If not, then you just basically lose out. And you have a 7k on the field, it's just about to die. And for grade threes, I run only eight. An SP Skydiver. SP version. I would usually just call them out. In case I have too many other cards in my hand, I want to just final turn. Or just use them for Demonic Lord. Doesn't matter to me. Three Juggernauts. This is the final turn card. 16k just by itself with its effect, so your opponent's going to have to drop a 10k automatically without a booster so this card really does push and makes your opponent waste a lot of cards this is the only card I would ever call out with Demonic Lord and um, four Demonic Lords not fair the big dick not Vanguard fair. units still not fair this card's a whole lot better than safe general safe reads it gets a plus three when boosted and it's usually Wonder Boy Reckless behind it, so it's always going to swing for 20 or 21. 
the dumb part is calling out two units of any choice. Usually I would just go for the juggernauts. Or if I'm taking damage early with a lot of cards, I'll usually just call Wonder Boys instead. I'm going to show you how to final turn correctly since most people fuck up. Like so bad players. So you usually have Demonic, Demonic Lord as your vanguard with a few souls, preferably three. And you would always have a Wonder Boy behind it. Now, if you don't have Juggernauts, you most likely have Rockies. And I always have a booster, regardless of who. I'll call two more, since I always search for them. Now you would always swing without using it. I'm putting it back in the deck, just so you can use it for after his effect, just to call out these guys. And the good thing about it is you put two souls in, so you can boost them yet again. When you attack, you're swinging for 24, and the vanguard's 21, so your opponent will have to draw 6 minimum if I hit into a trigger. Oh, that's not a trigger. If I hit into one trigger, my opponent's going to have to drop even seven triggers, and it puts a lot of pressure on them. Bad thing about it though is, I usually have him open, so people are just going to keep swinging at him. But I'll probably have, my opponent will either have no cards to defend with next turn, or they're going to play too defensively, not even have monsters to attack them. Mm, so basically what you're trying to say is you can attack five times per turn making your opponent drop his whole hand and if he does survive he's going to just play one card at a time? He's, he's probably only... If this happens, which it usually does my opponent's either going to have a hard time coming back just by attacking itself or they're just going to play too defensively. If they see me having another... If I have five damage and just two are on flip or three, correct. They're just gonna want to play defensive. Okay. My hand is gonna be a four or five, and they're not gonna even try to come back with just the vanguard. That is correct. Now, for most viewers, I can't explain why do you not, not why do you not play sand triggers, even though we all agree that sand triggers are pretty bad. You don't have anything to stand with, most likely. I mean, if you do have these and you play stand triggers, you're bad. <laughs> I usually don't have rear guards. Just because I use these or the Brockies usually. In rare occasions, I actually do use the Reckless once in a while. In case my person playing Kageros, they're going to want to attack. I could just call him out and boost. He's a 12k all by himself. Gets to hide in the deck. And then you can call out your other... Your other ones. Alright. Alright, well, well, well I guess that pretty much explains everything and wraps all up. Yeah. Um, anything you want to say after we go with uh, Spike Brothers? The only weakness about this deck is Kageros. If they retire your rear guards, basically your wonder boys, you're fucked. Because you're swinging for little to nothing, and Lawkeeper just gonna bind my stuff, and I'm usually just gonna lose out of rear guard anyway. That is true. Well, alright, YouTubers, that's that's all for this deck profile. Soon we'll have a couple more coming up. Um, like I said, we have, a, whole, we have a huge team. We're gonna have more deck profiles, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have matches up. We're going to have trade binders and also, all for you guys, we're going to have boxes up for sale. Any set for 60 and obviously the extra boost is going to be 30 bucks. Monster binders for 20 bucks. If you guys if you guys want monster binders, we're selling for 20 bucks plus shipping. Uh, if, you, if you are interested, just PM, PMS us and we'll give you how much your shipping will be. Alright guys, this is Team Iron Man here. Later.